tell us the latest situation, where your vaccination uh, situation stands and, and how quickly it's going. Yeah, thank, uh, thank you for having me on. <clears throat> so we started this process almost two weeks ago and um, we had a little bumpy start at the beginning, but we're starting to get a, a groove down. We were one of the first counties in Florida to be able to stand up a drive-through vaccination uh, system here in the county, serving residents in the county and, and those surrounding counties in Florida. It, uh, you, you, you hit the nail on the head, it's not been anything short of a, a, a large undertaking to get underway. Now, we cover Eventbrite on this show. It's, it's more known for, uh, you know, invitations to events, even parties. Um, you know, how is Eventbrite really helping you? And is that really the best solution to get folks in line? Yeah, when we first started this, um, we, we received an initial push of doses from the state of Florida, and we wanted to make sure that we did not have those residents uh, that you've seen sometimes in other areas, camping out overnight in order to get a vaccine in a first come first serve type situation. So one of the things that came right to, to mind was a scheduling or an appointment type system that we could use and Eventbrite came, uh, came floated to the top uh, for us to start using. Um, so we still use Eventbrite today in a much different direction than we first started with Eventbrite, but uh, Eventbrite has helped us out tremendously in scheduling vaccinations for the public. So is this something that you think other states, other counties should be using? I mean, is Eventbrite possibly the solution? Well, it just depends on how each uh, county, state wants to operate that type of system. So we initially had Eventbrite in a um, forward facing public uh, capacity. And what we discovered real quick was the demand uh, for scheduling an appointment for the minimal amount of doses we're getting uh, was just too great for both Eventbrite and our own county infrastructure and our website. So we've since uh, partnered with another agency, Seamless Docs. We, we've uh, shifted those uh, with that high demand that want to get on to or get an appointment for a vaccine. We've uh, opened up a vaccine waiting pool. So with Seamless Docs, a vaccine waiting pool is, is established. They go on there. And then as we get doses in from the state every week, we pull that same amount of number through a ra randomized selection from SEMA stocks, that data they put in there to get onto that vaccine waiting pool. And then our 3-1 operators uh, then start making phone calls back to those uh, residents and persons who've signed up in the vaccine waiting pool. They then schedule in Eventbrite uh, appointments by hour. So the Eventbrite system is really so. What uh, are going to be? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are going to be your biggest challenges as you look ahead to the next weeks and months, potentially years, of getting this yeah. vaccine rolled out? Yeah. Our biggest challenges, I still believe, is the uh, stabilization of the vaccine, uh, both federally uh, getting down to the states and then states in the county's hands or Department of Health's hands is still our largest challenge. Our vaccination pool is uh, up over 70,000 residents and, area and, and people in the area wanting to get vaccinated and getting 2,000 doses a week because there's just not enough federally going down to the state and then divvied out to each county is gonna remain our, our biggest challenge. And then our second challenge is maintaining that uh, vaccine waiting pool and then, and then getting those people scheduled for those vaccinations.